My tracking is real shit, man. Yeah, it is. So there's no yeah. point of standing in the middle of everywhere. <laughs> Do you understand how to read where the next people are? Now you just get fucking no, destroyed. No, 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 no. It's not about getting destroyed. So there's so many things that can happen right now. And you're standing like a, like a pole in the middle of door. And it's actually mechanics that fucked you here. And just, it's, it's, now it's time to pull the trigger. But no, you decide to move it away. <laughs> but there is no like micro tracking here. It will be the same. What the fuck? <laughs> See? Yeah, I've never done this like ever. Like if, if your mechanics would be like amazing at super high level, you would smash these people. Even with, if you do bad decisions or like peak wrong, you know? Yeah, that's true. So let's see what I see here. Okay, so you guys are contacting ramp, yeah? I'll actually put yeah. the volume up a bit. But there are like, there are like two people who didn't contact ramp because one thought it would be a good idea to like bait for us outside. And so here you have your crosshair very low and it's not really on head level. Plus, uh, you're holding it on a wall, but you're, when you're holding an angle, you want to hold it like on an angle, you know, because they could be pushing right now. So I know in, in a second you will push, so you're already pre-aiming kind of the angle, but uh, before you push, I just hold it on the angle, you know? Yeah. For quite a bit you're holding it on the wall, but they could be pushing in this moment. So see, it was just bad crosshair placement, you had it on the, on the ground instead of the head. And now you're whipping yeah, your crosshair left and right when you're shooting. It doesn't look stable. Do you see these left and right whips? Yeah, I do. Like, look. Like, this should not generally not happen when you're shooting. Like this. Right, left, right, left. See like how the mouse is going? Like, even now, yeah. when you weren't shooting. This is yeah, weird. Let's see if this continues. Okay, this, this mouse movement I just saw here. Like, this kind of... This kind of a swing here, this this movement, or this this is what I'm talking about. This looked like you haven't picked your mouse up, maybe, or you, if, as you have a weird mouse position. But uh, the, are you conscious of whether you're picking up your mouse or not? Because you should, and I don't know if you are here. Mm, not really. Like look, look, like right now, do you think you picked up your mouse? Yeah, this I think one. I picked up my mouse because, right about here. Because look at your mouse movements. Like they look, <clears throat> they look very like this mouse movement here, and now like the the way you see like the way you fl flick to the left, like if you had your mouse in the center, this would not happen that over flicking to the left because you already saw that guy in this position, right? Yeah. So there is no point to move your mouse like that to the left. Now you adjusted to him, right? See, so first you yeah. adjusted to him, then you flicked away, and then you went back to him. That's that's weird a bit. And then also the problem here was you were running forward in this engagement. Oh yeah. Like look, you were running with W here. You started pressing W. And you, I understand that you wanted to go sad, sideways, but the correct pathway of moving here, or moving around any angle, is like this. This, AD, this, and then like swing with AD, and then move forward, and then again AD. Not like sideways like this, you know? No, that's something I also have worked on a lot. It's like I don't need to like move like with uh, W and A and yeah, W and yeah, D. Yeah. Before we continue the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Sell Your Skins. If you want to sell your CS2 skins quickly, easily and safely, then check out sellyourskins.com through the link in the description. You can sign in with Steam, click on the skins you want to sell, accept the trade and then you'll receive your money in just a couple minutes. They offer higher prices than other cash out sites and you can get paid through Revolut, bank transfer, PayPal and other various methods. You can also receive up to 5% more cash with the site ranking system. If you use the link in the description and my promo code PNX, you'll get extra 5% as well. Okay, now, now I can see that you're picking with AND. And you're not expecting red. No, I'm not. I don't, didn't think you could be red already. Why but not? He, he doesn't get me. Because I just, just didn't thought he would like push in like the second round, but. Why not? But it's like, it's what, like box, but. What do they have in second round? Do they have, all have rifles, you think? Generally? Generally not. I thought right? like, I thought like many of them would have like MP9s, but like not on outside. I don't usually see people play MP9 on outside. Yeah, but if they can't afford an M4 on outside, then they have to play an MP9. And if they play an MP9 on outside, usually they get close, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I play MP9 on outside and I expect people to play in second round. Because it's normal, you know? You just want to get yeah. close and farm these uh, Glocks or Deagles. Okay, you go silo. No, you go lobby. Yeah, that was too molly hot.
And I didn't know why I didn't fucking hear him drop down. Nice. I mean, this is good. There's nothing wrong with this round. <coughs> this was not much wrong. Like, the, obviously the clearing could be slightly better, but the whole play and the, the way you played it, it, it was okay. Yeah, I moved my mouse too much when I cleared the whole thing. W why do you Molitop had, by the way? Uh, just to make sure there's not nobody on there. But like why? in the start of the round, if they like to push out or something. But, but why? Why do uh, you not Usually want I to play with teammates who like just uh, plus W out of uh, Squeaky. In? But they didn't really do it this round. Yeah, this for example was a big mistake here. Because you're taking it up, right? And you're not expecting side or seat event or anything. And you guys oh. are in a 4v3, right? So there's no yeah. point of standing in the middle of everywhere. <laughs> you're standing in the middle of min main. I'm saying mini because I usually coach you as people. Uh, in yeah. the middle of main. And you're just holding one position. He could be uh, behind the Tetris. He could be seat event. He could be side. He could be, you know... Last time, yeah. w whatever, and you're just committing like that. If you lose this round, that, that, that's you who gave up the advantage. See? Yeah, we did. Yeah. And that was a very important round to break their economy. You know that, right? Yeah, it was. But um, I don't know what I was fucking doing. Yeah, that's good you expected that, you know? I stepped as well. Oh, this was not a clean kill. This was like full half moving kill. <laughs> Heaven, you just heard Heaven Ob, I swear to god, if you pick him with MP9. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot some trust. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what were you looking at a second ago. Okay, nice. You expect the ramp player to be under Heaven? No, you don't. Again, it's awareness. Yeah. I mean, I mean, bro, it's pretty obvious, right? You killed the outside player, right? Do you understand? Do you understand how to read where the next people are? No, not really, but okay, like, okay. I just, I'll, I'll like, explain sometime it to you. I just go full autopilot like I did there, I just did go full uh, autopilot. I mean, here, yeah, I understand, that's why I'm telling you how to fix it. So you're looking at garage now, this is no reason to do that, right? And then, oh. after that, you're picking heaven, right? So that's good, okay, yeah. you're picking heaven, I mean, you could have died to the orb, there's no big reason to go around heaven, but it's okay. I mean, you didn't even peek that angle, by the way. No. Uh. Aim a bit too high you, there, you, so. you like walked out into the angle, you know? So if he was yeah. scoping at you, you're done. You, you would die, 100%. But, uh, okay, you killed the guy heaven, right? What is the next yeah. player that can possibly kill you? It's the under heaven guy. The or... ramp player who yeah, maybe ramp. rotates or maybe not. Maybe he just holds from ramp to under heaven, you know? But you have yeah. to expect it. And you're not expecting right side of uh, under heaven at all. Like, at all you didn't expect it. So, no. I'm just saying, this is the second time you die from because you don't expect a position and you get caught out with your pants down, you know? Yeah, and I give up the adventure chicken. I mean, in this, in this case you win, but... <coughs> so, if we continue seeing you you die unaware, it means it's your visualization of the map and your game sense, that's the problem. Okay. Just get fucking no, destroyed. no, 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 it's not about getting destroyed, it's about what you're doing. Why are you silo fighting a guy with a deagle on a headshot angle? You have an AK, he has a deagle, and they have generally shit money, because last round you won, they had full buy, right? I mean, yeah. they, this is about reading the economy, if you win this round, now they have to buy after you win. And, uh, yeah. and uh, now they have like... Deagles and maybe maybe even he had a scout. He could have had scout outside, right? Yeah. So and I you're don't... fighting them from silo on a hatchet angle. Doesn't make any sense, right? No. So what would be the good play in this round? Since you, uh, if you knew what money they have. I would probably go down lobby with my teammates. Yeah, probably go hold lobby or go hold some position on outside. Don't definitely don't find this hatchet angle. Just group up with your teammates and go somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Yeah. It's just, again like again like awareness. Yeah. Okay, so you're just going outside. They have shit money again for some reason. What is the smoke? It's to block off red. Block off red. I expect him to be. Yeah, so I can okay, nice pass. <coughs> yeah, that's good. 
I mean, I know the smoke, obviously, <laughs> but I'm just yeah. asking why you throw it, you know? I'm not asking what is the smoke. Because I didn't think they would have shit economy right after they had yeah, shit yeah, economy. Yeah, 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 I mean, you're right. Actually, so. I didn't expect it at all. I thought they were saving last round. I mean, they were actually, but they decided to save again. I think they ecoed while they had. They only had one loss bonus, so I think that's why. Yeah, they but, so they but, they should, like but they didn't. But they didn't fully force last round. They they kind of saved as well. So this guy had 3k. He bought a deagle, you know. He could have fully. They could have fully bought that round. He were top silo, by the way. But they didn't. For some reason. And then I repick and crouch, so I just fucked. Yeah, well, why did you crowd there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually know that. Because you I think he, he saw you, confident. and now yeah. you crouch into the angle. But there's, but if you crouch, you're not mobile, right? Do you see yeah. how you were not mobile? You crouched and you were standing in the same spot, and then you over flicked and instantly shot, right? So yeah. there is no point to crouch in the middle of the door, since he knows that you're gonna be in that angle, right? No. So, so again, it was not your aim necessarily, it was the way you, like, expose yourself to that angle. Oh yeah, this is that round. What round? You will see. Oh. Nice shots. What more, Urva? Oh. And then I get shot from double because I bought too You're not too aware. No, you're just not aware of double. Yeah, I forgot about it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> your main issue, man, so far what I see is like just awareness. It's not aim because as you can see, the guys in front of you, you can clearly kill them. Yeah, so it's just like I need to be more aware of my of where the enemies can be. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we will talk about how to manage that in a second. Okay, le let's uh, let's make an exercise, okay? Okay. Uh, I mean exercise, <laughs> a little uh, mental thingy. Okay, right now you're okay. throwing a shit ton of you out of door. Do they know about your yeah. door or not? They know me about door, yeah. Okay, so okay, you spotted this guy. Do you think he spotted you? Mm, I'm not actually sure if he did. He might have not, but they for sure know that you are door, right? Yeah, yeah. They okay, do. Do, do you know uh, if the guy is city vent or not? Do you like? Do you know if he uh, no. could be? C okay, so you can get picked from city vent right now, right? Yeah, it could be if there was someone hiding there. Yeah, so you would get fucked because you completely don't expect it, right? No. Okay, so if you can get picked from left and from the right, right? Do you know if yeah. the guy is gonna white swing or just jiggle pick or pick you after the flash or get the flash from his teammate and pick you or fucking jump out from top hat and pick you with a shotgun? Do you know all these things? Um, like, do you know what's gonna happen exactly? No, I don't know what exactly is gonna happen, but so there's uh, yeah, but he could he could get a flash from his teammate to so, peek out from city event, yeah. Yeah, so there's so many things that can happen right now, and you're standing like a like a pole in the middle of door. Well, do they know where you are roughly? Can you? Yeah, be they in... know I'm a front door. Yeah, indoor because it's more it outside door. So they don't expect T vent. They expect you inside door. So there's one narrow angle and so many possibilities of them peeking you, right? Yeah. So if they peek you right now, they're peeking into an obvious angle, and you don't know how you're gonna get peeked. And you're still standing here, and they also nail you because it's obvious that you're there, right? Yeah, I just and thought it would be a good idea there to stand in an off angle because if they were gonna peek again, which they did, but they just nailed it to have to. But it's myself. not. But it's not an off angle that you're standing in. It is not. No. What, what do you mean an off oh. angle? They know you're in door. They're just gonna peek door. What? What yeah, about? What off angle are you want to understand? I thought they were first. I thought they were like peeking behind, like peek like behind the red thing, and then just not have the crosshair on me. Nah, bro. Nobody's peeking behind the red thing specifically. They're just peeking door. They don't know where you oh, are okay. exactly in door. You're just standing in door. That's it. There's no one yeah. cares about this behind red thing. I mean, of course, people will peek it because it's a common angle, but it's not like they're gonna hyper focus on it and forget about everything else. Um, and here, actually. I have to, uh, to give you that, that you had your crosshair in the right spot. And it's actually mechanics that fucked you here. Because you moved your crosshair away because I, for some reason you, you had the jittery mouse, look. Actually in this case, like the crosshair placement and the general position wasn't that bad. Like the decision of standing there, you know? Yeah. It's, it's just look, what's gonna happen to your crosshair. You have your crosshair on the head of the guy and just it, it's now it's time to pull the trigger. But no, you decide to move it away. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. 
so there I don't is... know why I do it. Well, you don't. I, you I have do not. You have not trained calmness of of the crosshair. You know. I'm quite yeah. curious how you play that match. I, I would want to see that in a second. Because okay. maybe that's the problem. I, I've seen it two times already. You're immediately shooting after you move your crosshair. Immediately shooting. And that should never happen in CS, almost. That's so, because should... I, I would have got him if I didn't move my crosshair. So, yeah, so let's watch the this, uh, T side till the end and then I'll address these two things the awareness and then the crosshair moving. Yeah. So. <clears throat> okay, silo again. Okay, that's nice. You killed the mini player now. Nice shots. So I think generally when you're holding, you're missing. Yeah, this was also. I don't know if this was before the update with the. Uh, Pico's advantage. Bruh, bro, there's no Pico's advantage. This is bullshit. Like, this doesn't matter that much, you know? Like, not? everybody's crying about this shit before the update, but it's, bro, it doesn't, almost doesn't matter. Like, it's not. Man, I just got gaslighted. It's so. no, yeah, it's no big deal, you know? <laughs> like, I didn't even fucking notice it, you know? People are just complaining about this. Yeah, of course, there was a Pico. There was, like, advantage of, like, peeing and everything, right? But the amount it mattered, it was, like, fucking. 10 out of 100, okay? Like 10% it matters, but people exaggerated to like 90% or 70%, you know? That's what I yeah. mean. Like there was, a, the, the, I'm not saying it wasn't, obviously there was, but it was didn't matter that much. And the picker's advantage is anyways, not about the fact of ping or anything. The picker's advantage is about this, that the guy visualizes your angle and he knows where you're standing and you don't know how he's gonna pick you. That's the picker's advantage in general. Yeah. In, you're not that focused as he is because he's, clearly picking you in that moment, so he's full focus, right? But you yeah. might might have been holding for like last three seconds and you are like unfocused for a moment because something happens and then he picks you in that timing where you're unfocused for a slight moment, right? That's the biggest yeah. advantage for you, not not the, the ping of shit. But obviously it still exists because of that. So here we're going solo outside. I mean, this is the same thing. So I'll have to point this out to you. Look. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. My crosshair is too low. No, no, your crosshair is... F you, s you immediately start shooting. There is no micro-adjustment, okay? Zero micro-adjustment. Uh, Immediate shooting. And it's gonna work sometimes. I'm not saying it's not, right? But there is no, like, micro-tracking. Here, it will be the same. What the fuck? <laughs> see? You immediately move your crosshair to the guy and start shooting. So, let's address these two things. First, it's the mechanical thing of micro-tracking, okay? So, I will show you on this map really quickly what I mean. So, there's people who move around, and they are one of them, and do this. Right. See? This works, right? Yeah. But <laughs> this works, but this is not consistent and will result in you doing this of a guy. Right? Moving your crosshair away. The thing you want to train is you stop, you track. Do you see this like mo m movement of tracking? Yeah. This is what you're not doing. D do you notice the, mo the moment of I'm like micro tracking the guy? Yeah, you're tracking him like uh, real quick and then you shoot him. Like obviously, like I will miss sometimes because I'm not warm now, but you do this like m moment of of micro tracking, right? And you you don't do this because but you know it it can be a bit tricky because this will work, right? I can do this, like see I don't I'm not even track now, right? But when I then I start tracking, I'm really focused on my crosshair, right? I will make sure I'm hitting these shots. You know, th this is different and a bit calmer. Yeah, because that there you're training your aim, the other one is just shooting bots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to start doing that. And in that match, uh, this will look something like this. So you're basically gonna track before you shoot. So you pick every angle with A and D, and then you make sure you're on him. 
Yeah, so you see, you see, I'm moving with W, then picking with A and D, picking with A and D. And then I want to make sure I'm on the bot. Like, I'm taking this extra moment, right? To make sure I'm on the guy before firing. See, like, I'm not... See, I'm, I'm like, making sure. I know it can be hard in the beginning, and you might die multiple times. But I'm gonna, like, make sure every single time I'm on... See, I'm not overshooting here. I'm just... I just really wanna... See? I wanna make yeah. sure I'm on him before I shoot. I want yeah, you to. have the time for it. Yeah, I wanna practice this micro tracking motion. You see, you have to be calm. Like, of course, I have good aim, so I will like be very calm and I can still still hit the shots. Of course, you will sometimes like get get killed or miss, right? And it's okay. Yeah. I don't know why the server is lagging, by the way, so hard, but. But that's yeah, because I, mean. I usually just shoot when I see somebody. See, like, like in, in the exact yeah, moment. I know, I know, <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> so, so can you hop on that and let's work on it for a moment so you understand this and I'm sure you understand the concept, and then we can go over to discussing you. Yeah, we can. See, like how how much time we got actually, uh, to shoot people. Yeah. Like you actually have a lot of time. It can be calm, right? Well, anyways, I'm going out. You want me to screen share or...? Yeah, yeah, of course. I wanna see how you play that match, let's fix it. Because you play so much of it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, try, try to do bursts, because in normal game you probably want to burst. No. Oh, nice knife, bro. Ah, big cyber shock. And th this was, for example, not a thing you want to do. Because you immediately oh, spray like, there I just shot. Yeah, th that's not the, the practice we want to do here. We want to, like, micro track for a moment. We extra make sure we're on them, you know? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, stop shooting immediately, see? You have this bad yeah, habit. Should, like... Can you take a moment and wait? Or actually go out of this map. Go out of this uh, that much. Go on fast time slash reflex. Uh, first, is in, because in general you have problems with tracking. You're just not doing it. Uh, yeah. So first thing you want to be doing, you just take a desert eagle, okay? You stand, you don't even move, and you track people, okay? And then you fire. But the tracking should be very calm. Like this, move, right? And then you fire only when you're ready that you're on the guy. Yeah? Okay, yeah. So you track, track, track. Do you track, track, track? And then you fire when you think you're ready on the on the guy. Of course, if you miss, that's also okay. But uh, you want to like fire only when you think you're ready. You don't want to do this. Okay. You know? Like you just track, track, track. And then fire, track, 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 fire. And the firing part should be just a clean shot, not uh, not a flick. It should not be like this. Oh. You know? It should be... Yeah, because I also do that a lot when if I'm on the, like, this map. Yeah, it should be like uh, this and just click, you know? I'm just clicking. I'm tracking, tracking, tracking. And just click. Uh, have you ever seen these highlights of someone like Nico, for example, and then he's crouching and there's, like, multiple people and he does this? And like free kills. Have you seen this ever? No, I don't think I have. No. Or like someone standing with USP and holding an angle, and there is multiple people running out, and he's like, does this, like clicks three people. Have you ever seen this kind of thing or no? Oh, I don't think I have. The only clip I can remember of Nico was when he choked real hard on simple and hot. I'm not saying Nico. I'm saying anyone. I just gave an yeah. example. Okay. Do you see? I don't the, think I really do you see, see the the idea behind it? Yeah, I see too. So I'm not flicking. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just tracking. So can you do this right now? Oh. Yeah. Try not to flick away immediately after you shoot, okay? No, no, don't do this like... Wait, 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 wait. What you're doing is you started moving your mouse and shaking your mouse like a madman after one shot. Can you stop doing that? Yeah. Can you just shoot and not move your mouse after you kill the bot? Like, just go 
uh, yeah, go and uh, yeah, you can go with the mouse to the next bot closest to you, right? Don't shake it. So if there are bot, two bots like super close, yeah, for example, right now there was another bot closer than this other bot that you moved to, so you should have went to him. Go to the next guy you see on your screen, not like shake your mouse. Yeah. Well, then I do it again. Yeah, but... Oh. It's, you don't need to shake it, you just need to go to the next bot you see on the screen. My tracking is real shit, man. Yeah, it is. I just think I got like that the motion. I just fucking do it on muscle memory. Like after I kill someone. No, this is looking better now. Yeah, your tracking is shit. Yeah, you need to work on it. But uh, it's actually looking good now after you've done it for a moment. Don't worry, mine is shit as well when I join this map without warm-up. So you just need to warm up into it. And uh, the trick is also if you're missing like that a couple times, you just uh, focus on tracking more than uh, shooting, you know? Just track for a moment, yeah. even don't shoot, you know? Just... <coughs> Do you have maybe a webcam that you can stream your camera, uh, that you can stream your mouse to me? No, no, I don't. Because your, your mouse movements look very jittery. Do you move your mouse with your forearm? Yeah, I do, yeah. When you're tracking, yeah? Is your... Yeah, when I track, I move it with my can, forearm. Can you look at, uh, can you look at my, uh, my stream? Uh, yeah, yeah. So my forearm, uh, my wrist and my forearm are in the same line. My wrist is not moving, okay? So that's why this movement looks like this, right? For you, it looks like kind of like this sometimes. Yeah. So, so wrist and forearm should be flexing. I mean, not even flexing, but like in one line. Yeah, aligned, yeah. Aligned, and then you're moving clockwise, you know? Yeah. And this should be very calm movement. See, like, it's very calm, it's like, of course it's trained, that's why it is like that. See? Yeah? Yeah. So like mine is like this sometimes, and then I, it should be like this, right? Wait, I'm not watching you yet. Oh yeah, I see. Like sometimes I just go down. I don't know. Yeah, but you're moving it like clockwise. Your elbow is staying in one place, and your forearm and uh, wrist are in one line. Yeah. Yeah, this is good now. Yeah. Anyways, keep doing it. Yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, don't do this. I mean, a little flick can happen, right? But not any big flicks. Okay, yeah, it's looking a lot better. Okay, so the second exercise here, if you can watch my screen. Yeah, I can. Uh, the second exercise is gonna be uh, with AK, okay? So okay. whenever you're peaking angles in generally in CS, right? Yeah. You, you don't want to do something like this. Did you see what no. I did? I yeah. did too much, right? Yeah. And then you don't want to do something like this. Right? Obviously you don't do that. Also you don't want to do something like this. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you want to adjust, right? Uh, before you should do this micro adjustment. So how you do this is you do a strafe here. Adjust your crosser and burst. Strafe, adjust your crosser and burst. Strafe, adjust your crosser and burst. Strafe, adjust your crosser and burst. So e with each strafe there is adjustment. Okay. And to, if one strafe, one burst, okay? So one strafe, adjustment, burst. One strafe, adjustment, burst. You can do it very slowly first. You can do a strafe, like track to get away for a moment and then shoot. A 
Strafe is obviously like A and stopping with D. So this is how it should yeah. look like in Drive. No, 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 no. One burst, one strafe. Don't take out your knife, please. Okay. Yeah, that's good. A big strafes. Big strafes, okay. Yeah, like this. Yeah. No, 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 don't do this. Like, after you miss, another strafe. But note it for another bot. The same bot, one, one more strafe. Yeah, good job. So this is how you need to play in that match as well, by the way. Yeah, I've never done this, like, ever. I know. This is kind of hard for me. Yeah, but that's, like, clean. I mean, if it's hard, that's good. That means we're progressing now. Yeah. I mean, if you're missing, just slow down. Just literally do a strafe and track a guy while okay. he's standing. Yeah, I can see you have, uh, you have, you can do this, but you're just like losing focus after a while. Okay, good job. Yeah, that's it. And now the same okay. thing you will need to implement later on in that match, right? Yeah, I should be prepared that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, when you're picking an angle in that match, you're gonna do something like this. You're picking an angle, then adjusting to the guy and shooting, right? That's how your yeah. shots should look like. Okay, let me go on you and go over the mistakes you've done and uh, what you should be doing and how to like expect people. So do you ever play refrag? Yeah, I do sometimes. I play free fire and crossfire sometimes. Okay. So, so most of your deaths were because of awareness and then because of the shaky aim and not tracking, right? But yeah. definitely standing in front in the middle of main here and scoping on heaven is not the best idea, right? You should try not to switch to the op in general on T side because oping is on T side. Some teams won't even op on T side at all, you know? Yeah. So I'm just saying. Then it's like awareness of under heaven, and this uh, concept is basically expecting the next position that's possible to pick you. So if you like, do you know the meta on nuke, the the default? Yeah. What's the default? Uh, that's uh, like on TT. It's one yeah. one round, two ramp, and then there's two on well, A so and one outside. It's one or two on ramp. One or two if... on ramp on default? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, on a default. No, 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 oh no. no, one ramp, one ramp on default, and then one outside and on three A. That's my default. No, that's that... how I learned it. Yeah, that's that's not the default. So the default is like the no. Uh, there is like oh, this close. There is an ramp player, uh, one ramp player, two A players, one responsible for door, a hut, and one for door. Usually this guy on door plays top hut, this guy who's responsible for hut plays like side or city event, whatever. And then there is one outside player who's a rifler. He sometimes goes red, sometimes main, sometimes fucking cross secret, sometimes pushes. And one opera, and the opera goes wherever he wants. He usually plays heaven so he can help all the positions. But he's sometimes gonna start garage before the smokes are up. And if he gets smoked here, he's rotating a heaven, for example. Or he starts ramp okay. or wherever he wants. You understand that now, right? Yeah. So, so, so if you kill the outside player, right, you, in the, it's not an opera, you still expect an opera heaven and you still expect uh, two players on A on one ramp, right? So yeah. for example, the next player can be this uh, uh, door player who decided to go outside and refrag his teammate who just died and he's picking uh, main, that's why you meet people in main. And this heaven player, this is the opera, right? Yeah. So you still should expect people like that. So in this case, you kill the upper, so the next player, and you kill the outside player before, so the next player is gonna be under heaven, and you just didn't expect that right side angle. No. Okay, what's the best play versus for, uh, a low buy? You just have to go um, with the team and uh, group up, and that's it. This is the only thing you need to do. Yeah. Uh, now you are crouching in the middle of the door, that doesn't make sense, of course, like, you just need to be mobile because you don't want them to peek into you, you want to be peeking into them, right? And then you forgot about double door here, when you were fighting single, right? Yeah, it didn't exist for me. Yeah, so it's more like, in your case, it's a lot about visualizing angles and understanding, and understanding where the next enemy is gonna be, yeah? Yeah. 
And so like a lot of awareness. Yeah, like just all the time having uh, visualizing in your head where the next player is gonna be, where the next duel is coming from, right? Okay. And and that way you'll be expecting everything and you you'll be able to. Yeah. Basically play a good game of CS where you expect every angle and then your awareness is not holding you back, right? And how you build this awareness is uh, as well uh, pre-fire mode on refrag and I'll show you really quickly how to play it. But uh, oh. I'll show you. We want to be like very cautious of every angle and just learn the angles one by one and clear them. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So what I mean is you don't run around like that and you don't do this. Although I could, right? Yeah, it's working. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. When I'm learning the angles, what I want to do is I want to do this. I want to shift up to an angle and then peek it with AD. Shift up to the next angle, peek it. Without shift, of course. Shift up, peek it. Shift up. Oh, I fucked up, I go back. I peek again. Yeah. I fucked up, I go back. Peek again. Shift. Sh peek out, yeah. Shift up to the next angle, peek. Peek, yeah. This angle I peek as well, although there is no bot. Now I peek secret. Now I peek behind red. See? And I'm peeking every angle with A and D while I have been using shift to reposition my model. Oh, I fucked up, I go back, right? So whenever you fuck up, you go back. But after you get a kill, you don't go back. So do you understand? But then I don't you build that like where you AD in front of angles. Yeah, so so then you build something like this that when you're going outside, you're going outside looks like this. And that is what I'm usually doing. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, what I mean here, you visualize the angles more. You need to yeah. be more ready for for the angles, right? It's it's maybe in your case it's not that much about visualizing the angle you're peeking, but visualizing where the other pe other people are standing, you know? Yeah. Where, where the next player is gonna be after you get the kill. I'm gonna drop these notes here really quickly.